want to learn a dramatic way to create an intro for your travel videos? Stay tuned, because today I will show you how. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the notification bell and click the subscribe button so that you're always updated on our latest video releases. Let's start by opening Filmora 10. First, I need to prepare a split screen clip. Go to the split screen tab, select the split screen format you like the most, and drag it into the first timeline. Let's drag the video I prepared into each part of the preview window. And then we can adjust the size and position in the preview window to make it look neat. After that, let's export the split screen clip. Next up, I want to add some music to my intro. And Filmora 10 already comes with a bunch of music for you to use. Under the audio tab at the top, I'm going to choose a song that best fits the vibe of the intro. You can also import your own music files into Filmora 10, but make sure that you have the rights or permission to use the music. Now, let's drag and drop the video clips into the timeline. Trim the clip to match the music. It'll be giving my video intro a smooth edit to keep the viewers engaged. Okay, next, I'm going to make a zoom in animation of the split screen clip. Find a rhythm point in the music. I'm going to add some keyframes to this clip. Double click on the split screen clip, go to the top left panel and click on animation, then select customize the animation. Click the add button to create the first keyframe, then change the size and position to fully match the motorcycle image with the preview window. Move the playhead forwards about 5 seconds and click the reset button for scale and position. Now we're all done with the zoom in. After we finish all the clip editing, let's add some titles. Go to the titles tab. There are tons of built-in titles under this tab and most of them are free. All you have to do is drop your desired titles above each video clip. Double-click the Titles clip to enter your text. Now, I'm going to make an awesome ending to this intro. So, go to the last scene and grab the Explorer photo into the timeline. Make sure the photo clip is between the last scene and the title clip. Adjust the size and position until it has a perfect layout. Next, let's add transitions to smooth the connection between the clips. Click the Transitions tab, there are also many free built-in transitions under this tab. You just need to select and drop your favorite transitions between the clips. And finally, I want my video footage to have a dramatic look to it. So click the Effects tab. There are two lighting overlays under the Travel Chic Pack. It will provide dramatic lighting to our video footage. We'll just need to drop one on the video clip. Now we're all done! Easy, right? And thank you for watching! Remember, if you have any questions or problems that affect your editing process, leave them in the comments below. I may answer your question in our next tutorial.